Hey guys, this is so exciting. I've been so excited to make this video. I was waiting on one thing coming in the mail. That's been taking forever, but it's finally here so I can film. This is gonna be a video, a compilation of all of the things, miscellaneous things, just things that have me obsessed, I've really been enjoying, things that just bring me happiness in the most materialistic way. All my monthly favorites videos are usually centered around beauty favorites, and I do throw in kind of like randoms here and there, but this video is gonna be full of randoms. I have jewelry, a lot of jewelry. I have some stuff for the home, like decor kind of things. I have stuff for little girls. I have shoes, random stuff. I do have two hair products, which I'm gonna save till the end because I think I might throw them into a monthly favorites. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, we'll just make this all about non-beauty related, so let's just put this stuff aside. Okay, let's start with jewelry because that's the most stuff that I have. I have been so obsessed with tassels. I don't know why, I'm just, just into it lately. I think it all started with this necklace. This is the Azure Tassel Necklace from Stella and Dot, and it's in a beautiful citrine and cobalt color. It's beaded, it has some brushed gold in it too, and then also like silver chains around the necklace, and I, I've been wearing it all the time. I really love it. I featured this in, I think, an outfit of the day video. I also have a blog post, another outfit where I wore this. I just love it. It's simple. It just reminds me of summer, especially paired with white or this citrine color, which is, I think, what I wore in that, in that video that I showed you guys, but... I love it. The tassel actually detaches too, so you could just have like a beaded necklace, but I kind of prefer it with the tassel. But that is this one, and I can't get enough of it. I also kind of created one myself on Kendra, Kendra Scott's color bar, and if you're not familiar with the color bar, you can pretty much design your own jewelry using different metals, different stones. I've really been wanting one of these rain necklaces. I think it's a rain necklace, yeah, for a really long time. And aside from my love of tassel, I've really been enjoying pairing pink and gray together. I don't know why, I just with clothing, with this rose quartz color, light pink eyeshadow and gray eyeliner, I don't know, I'm just kind of loving the combination. So it got me thinking and I decided to create a necklace that is set in silver. And what I like about the Kendra Scott silver is it's not a real shiny silver. It's more of like a brushed nickel, I would call it. And then I chose rose quartz as the center stone. And it has these fun little chain tassels that are just really great. And I've been wearing the heck out of this with just gray t-shirts and white t-shirts. And it's just really fun. It's kind of understated. It's not really bold. I feel like it's a really good just like neutral staple to have, especially if you are someone that wears... Just basic t-shirts, it's really nice and long. Those are tassels. Okay, next are these beaded bracelets, and I kind of go through phases when it comes to bracelets. I have sometimes like wanna wear a full stack of beaded bracelets, sometimes I don't wanna wear any beaded bracelets and wear more like chain or chunky arm parties, but lately with summer and since discovering this bland, brand, which it, which it, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, since discovering this brand, which is Chavez for Charity, or Chavez for Charity, I discovered these in a local boutique by my house, and haven't been able to really find them online other than the actual website that sells them, but I did a little research online, fell in love with the concept of them, and of course, they're really adorable for summer. So basically, each bracelet is $10, and they have fun little charms. They're all different colors. These are solid colors. I have coral, like a mint green, white. I'm also wearing two other white ones here. It's kind of like jade green. They have little charms attached, all different. Sand dollars, turtles, dragonflies, random things. 25% of each bracelet sold goes towards different charities. And I really like that because sometimes when you're purchasing from a company, the proceeds go to just one charity of of that brand, whoever that brand supports. But I like the idea behind this because depending on the causes that are close to your heart, you can kind of purchase the bracelet that goes with it. So for example, I saved like all the little cards. All the white bracelets that I have, the proceeds go to Angel 34, which is finding a cause for childhood cancer. That's just freaking heartbreaking to even think about. But I did purchase a lot of those that support that cause because I obviously don't ever want to have to ever, ever, ever imagine what that's like. I just, that's just one thing that's freaking sad. 
another bracelet that I purchased, and I'm not even sure which one this came from, but it went but it went towards the Holly Rod Foundation, which I have come to really know because Stella and Dot donates protein donates proceeds in April to Holly Rod for autism. And Holly Rod provides compassionate care to those living with autism and Parkinson's disease. So I did purchase one from there. There's another one here from Whole Planet. There's one in here from Best Friends Animal Society. So just to give you kind of an idea, it's, it's across the board. They have a ton for breast cancer, lots of different charities, lots of different colors. I've been just stacking the shiz out of these. I think I wore these in a blog post also. They just look really fun. And I've just really been into like beaded bracelets, especially like turquoise and just like different colored gemstones, like a lot of color on my wrist. So I really like that. I know who I am. I paid for these bracelets with my own money. I'm not being sponsored by them or anything. I just thought it was a really great cause. And if you guys are someone that enjoys wearing these, you might as well kind of do good while you're looking good. Also, we have to talk about studs. We just kind of have to. Stella and Dot did a fall preview to their fall collection, which is freaking gorgeous. I've already seen a sneak peek. And they released four studs earrings, studded earrings. And you guys know I kind of have a weakness when it comes to studs, so I kind of bought all four pairs. <laughs> so these are the Deja Vu studs in turquoise, and they're reversible, so you could either choose to wear them with the turquoise side or the shiny gold square. And they're very similar to the other Deja Vu studs where they're pave on one and solid on the other, but just these are turquoise and gold, which, like I've said in other videos, turquoise is my jam in the summertime. They also released a lapis version, but with a little bar. And I've been kind of seeing these bar-styled earrings pop up. The bar, the bar earring is just becoming a thing. I love lapis. Lapis is actually my mom's favorite. It's a really pretty navy blue stone. My most favorite of the entire collection are these beautiful crescent ear jackets. And I have them on in silver. And I also purchased them in gold because I just knew these were going to be a thing. You guys know how much I love the Eva earrings, the Eva ear jackets, and obviously they became bestsellers. Everybody else felt shared in my love for it. But these are even better because I think they are more neutral as far as them just going with other things. They're silver or gold. Again, they are reversible, so you can do pave, all pave on one side. You could do solid on the other side. You could do a pave stud and a solid ear jacket. There are just endless possibilities and they are freaking gorgeous. So you get little bars and then you also get little studs. So essentially you could actually get two pairs of earrings when you purchase them, but then you also have different options. You do the bar and the solid, the triangle and the pave. Like there's just tons of options. They're dainty. They're absolutely stunning. They look really good in the ear. You can actually adjust how low you want the little crescent to hang. I actually have mine right underneath my earlobe. I kind of like the look of them hugging my earlobe, but you can make them more of a drop earring. I just freaking love them. Highly recommend them, especially if you're into studs. And last but not least for jewelry, I think, is this little evil eye bracelet. And you guys probably have noticed me wearing this. I have been wearing it in every video simply because I haven't really taken it off since I purchased it. It's actually from Alex and Ani, which I was kind of shocked when I saw this in store. And it's a, it's just a basic gold chain and then it has a little navy evil eye charm. They're kind of the same um, idea of the pull tab bracelets. You just pull the chain and it, it, it shortens the bracelet and then you can, you know, adjust it so you could fit like a teeny little arm. But um, I just love it. It's really dainty and like I said, I just really haven't taken it off. I shower with it on. I don't know if that's a good thing, but I do and knock on wood, I really haven't had any problems with it. But it's just a dainty little piece of jewelry and I just, you guys know, for years I've kind of always enjoyed the whole evil eye thing. I'm Greek and there's that whole, a lot of, a lot of different cultures believe in what they believe and I just grew up with knowing what the evil eye was and always seeing it in my grandmother's house and on jewelry so it's kind of cool so I really like that okay let's talk baby kind of toddler so I was introduced through I think a friend to Brass Razoo on Instagram a year ago I think didn't really know anything about it she hand makes hand stitches hand sews her little girl dresses by hand only makes one dress in each size that she's doing, and I think she offers like seven different sizes from like 
zero to three months all the way, I think, to four toddler. And they are one of a kind dresses. They are absolutely stunning. And she has a website, but it only is up for the launch. And then it pretty much sells out in like 90 seconds. She does a lot of her business through Instagram, a lot of previews, just great because you can kind of see what she's gonna release. And then she announces when she's having the sale on Instagram and then the sale goes live on her site. And for a couple times now, a couple different seasons, I have tried to get Addie a dress or a romper, and it's just like unlike I, anything I've ever seen before. It, 90 seconds, it's sold out. Well, this time around when she launched her summer line, I was like on the website refreshing my page like a crazy, and I was able to get the one dress that I really, really wanted to get. And it's not available obviously anymore. Like I said, they are one of a kind pieces, but I wanted to just introduce you to the Brass Razu. Again, she doesn't know who I am. This is just from one mom to others, like letting you guys know that this lady exists and the adorable dresses that she makes. So I actually purchased this, I checked out, and I went back on the site to get another romper and it was sold out by that time. And it was all in the course of like five minutes. But the reason I wanted to tell you guys about her is if you are a mom and you're looking for really unique one of a kind dresses to just follow her on Instagram and check out her stuff. I know it's like really hard sometimes to get your, your hands on stuff but you might get lucky like I did and be able to snag one. So this is the dress that I purchased. It's a beautiful, a beautiful white and baby blue lightweight little dress. The stitching again is just incredible and she does this all by hand. There's little tassels here. I love the back. You just tie it like a little halter. This is elastic. And it's just a cute little summer dress. I just think it's precious. And she has, she had I think like 30 different styles of dresses. I mean from one woman to another I just was so like inspired that she like hand makes these, spends all the time doing it, like comes up with these own creations and just, ugh, I don't know. So I wanted to just give you guys one more account to follow on Instagram in case you're not following enough on your feed. They're absolutely adorable. If you're not a mom and you ever want to just look for a gift for someone, they are a little bit on the pricey side. I think they're about $100 with shipping and everything, but for me, knowing that not every other little girl is going to be walking around with this dress because it's purchased from a mass retailer, and also the fact that so much, like, effort went into making this. These were not produced in a factory. I can so appreciate that and I always like when I can support smaller businesses so for me it really wasn't a big deal. I know a lot of people will balk at that price but it's quality. I know it's a dress that Addie will have forever. She could pass it down. She could wear it you know with her dolls if she gets to the point where we don't have anyone else to pass it down to but it's just a piece of clothing that I just think we'll have forever. Like this is a this is a dress that I will keep in her baby book. It's just beautiful. So I wanted to show you that, and if you are into that kind of style, it's kind of a little bit like Aztec-y. I actually got her this dress on J. Crew recently. Now again, not so unique as far as like one of a kind, but kind of similar idea. And again, this was from Crew Cuts, and the thing that kind of upset me was on the website, the dress is shown with two little pom-pom tassels here, and then it does say in the fine print that the tassels don't come on, I think, any size under 3T. This is a 2T, or no, I think 4T and up got the pom-poms. But this is a 2T, and I obviously wanted to have it for this summer, so it didn't come with the pom-pom tassels, but I think that those really enhance the dress a little bit, but I still really like it. It's just a white cotton dress, with this cute little belt, and again, the detail in this is really pretty. I don't think someone handed this, <laughs> but um, I wanted to share this as kind of an alternative if you really like the design of the Brass Razu dress. This is available on J. Crew's website. So that's that. And then the only other thing I wanted to talk about as far as little girls is these little hair clips. These are from a shop on Etsy called Ryan and Wren, and I have a ton of hair clips from her that I've had in Addie's hair since she was a baby. But I just love these so much. They're glitter clips. They are snap clips, really easy to put on and take off, and they're stunning. And I actually like the multi-glitter the best. I've been having her wear the multi-glitter anytime she wears any kind of like denim or chambray. It just looks so cute together. And then I also have faux little Birkenstocks, silver glittery Birkenstocks that I got from Old Navy. So it pairs really nicely with the silver. And they're just kind of like adorable little hair clips. I think they're $5 a piece. And I just love them, so I wanted to share those with you too. Random little housewares. I'm gonna intru introduce you guys to the pancake pen. I got this guy from Williams Sonoma, and this is life-changing if you make pancakes a lot. 
you basically just put the batter in here. You can twist off the side. It's really easy to clean. And it's a pen. You take the cap off and you can make designs. You can make little bitty pancakes. Like I sometimes make like a stack like larger pancakes than going up to really tiny ones. You can, it's just kind of fun. The thing I like the most about this though is being able to then put the cap on and store the batter in the fridge. A lot of times it's really hard to store the batter unless you pull out like a Tupperware or something. But if you know you're going to make pancakes the next day or something, you, you have the batter left over. You don't have to worry about making all the pancakes and then freezing them, which is another option of what I do sometimes. But I just, this concept is kind of genius. It was 10 bucks at William Sonoma and I wanted to share that with you guys. And the last little home decor thing I wanted to show you are these pedestals, these cake pedestals. And I got these from One King's Lane. I think they're by Sir La Table, but I found them for a lot cheaper on One King's Lane, which is kind of like a Gilt Group or Joss and Main. But I love these for not only just entertaining, but just every day, especially like the little one. To just like stack cookies or you could even use the little ones for like your jewelry or a candle or just really fun. But I do like this one for like when I make cupcakes or cookies or some kind of dessert. I just think it's really pretty. I love like the whole mint green feel to this and it's a nice little display when you're entertaining. It's going to be so long but I hope you guys don't mind because we're talking about really exciting things. Okay. Clothing these, this is kind of like a sneak peek. I'm going to have these shirts up in a haul video from Express soon. These are by 111 and they are basic, 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 very stretchy, very comfortable, long tees. And I got one in gray and one in white. And they are so soft you could sleep in them, though I would probably sweat because they're long, they're three quarter length sleeve. It'd be so cute with the gray tassel necklace that I made. But they're just really comfortable, easy breezy. I think I'll wear these more for fall because they are a little bit thicker with leggings. They also have like t-shirt versions. But the, the 111 line from Express is just basic comfort, like nicer, higher end comfort. And these were $19.90. And I think they were like buy one, get one and half off or something when I purchased them. Last thing I have talked to you guys about is shoes. So these are by Loeffler Randall, Loeffler Rondel. And I got these last summer. I was always the girl that was like anti-Birkenstocks. They look weird. I don't think they're flattering. I saw all the bloggers starting to rock them like a summer or two summers ago and I was like, what are they thinking? And then my friend Dara introduced me to these. She's like, try these because you might like them. They're a little bit more fancy and they're just so comfortable, which I can't deny. And I love these. These have become a staple. I still don't find them to be the most attractive fancy shoe, but the little pop of gold metallic and design, like it just makes them more of a fashion shoe than like your typical Birkenstocks, if that makes sense. Birkenstocks is kind of growing on me because I'm all about comfort, but it can't hurt to just have like a little bit of a prettier version. So these are from last year, but they come out with new designs every year. And the shoe that they have currently this year, they do still have a metallic gold strap on the, on the top and then a different, like another kind of very similar like leopard design on this strap. But they always have these and they're great. They're just so, so comfortable. I wear these all the time, like more so than I'd like to admit because like I said, they're not the most pretty shoe I own, but they're just so comfortable and I just can't say enough. They're just really comfortable. Now, if you want to talk fancy shoes, let me introduce you to these bad boys. These are by Steve Madden and I am obsessed with these shoes. I saw these in Macy's like a month or so ago and was like, I need to have those. They also come in a gorgeous citrine color. And online I saw them in like a magenta purple, like a beet color. But I just thought I would get more use out of the neutral kind of like taupey gray. But they are fringe mania. They look so good on my feet. They zip up the back. They are incredibly comfortable, surprise, surprise. And they are just so fun, albeit a very trendy shoe, like not a shoe that I'll probably have in my wardrobe forever. But for right now, with my love of tassels and just the Aztec prints and kimonos and things, I just, I just love them. I will say they are a little bit difficult to put on just because these kind of get, you know, caught up in here. You kind of have to make sure they're all perfect when you're putting them on. But once they're on your feet, they're incredibly low maintenance, but just getting them on is a process. You can't just slip them on and go. But I love these. They have about a four inch heel, maybe a little shorter than a four inch heel. I can't even tell you the amount of compliments I get when I wear these, like perfect strangers. I have 
when I was in um, Dominican, I this was like a conversation starter for one of the girls that was there, and we've since like become friends and like hung out the rest of the weekend, and it was just so funny because it all started with these pair of shoes. I have these featured in an outfit of the day post on my blog, so you can see I wore them with just like a plain romper. I love these so much, so much, so much, and I just wanted to share them with you. If you are more bold and daring, I would get the citrine ones because they're so fun. You could wear them with the little tassel necklace, but for me, I, w I knew I wanted to get more use out of them for the summer. I just love these shoes so much. So that's everything that I've been loving, loving, loving lately over the last couple months. I couldn't wait to share it all with you guys because I feel like I'm talking to my girlfriends about like newfound discoveries and loves for things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up so I will know and I'll continue to just keep doing these when I come into or find like random, random, random products of just things that I really like. So I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for watching this video. Jake's hair is floating by. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.